and gentlemen, welcome to the Elizabethan Academy of Love. Here's the textbook, A Midsummer Night's Dream. It was written by William Shakespeare between 1595 and 1596. It's a five-act comedy set in Athens. Revolving around Theseus's wedding, it unfolds into four young Athenians' chaotic love pursuit, six mechanicals play in a play, and a battle between Oberon and Titania, the fairy king and queen. It expresses many interesting ideas about love, but today we are focus on Oberon and Titania's relationship and the interesting idea that love is all about power and control. The idea of love is still relevant today as a universal theme in both fiction and the real world. The battle here begins when Titania acquires an Indian changeling but refuses to give it to Oberon. In Act 2, Scene 1, we hear from Oberon, Tarry, rash wanton, am I not thy lord? Here, the violent dialogue in blank verse and iambic pentameter shows Oberon's power. The rhetorical question about his status as lord reflects his dominance over Titania. It's obvious that love is all about power and control. But look, Titania is a queen who fights back. In this monologue in blank verse and iambic pentameter, we hear from Titania. The visual imagery of crimson rose, tactile imagery of icy crown, olfactory imagery of odorous chaplet, gustatory imagery of sweet summer buds, personification of winter, simile of mockery, sibilance of sweet summer, and alliteration of hoary headed frosts, far and fresh, vividly animates how the seasons alter. The disruption caused by their fight is a proof that love is all about power and control. Their relationship reflects the patriarchal context in the Elizabethan society, where men were superior and in control, yet women were regarded as weaker. However, her power to rival Oberon challenges this patriarchal value and draws comparison between Titania to Queen Elizabeth I, who remained unmarried to avoid male dominance. However, victory is to Oberon's. Oberon uses Cupid's flower to manipulate Titania to dirt on an ass. In actual scene one, after acquiring the changeling, Oberon applies Diane's bud or Cupid's flower to restore Titania. Here, the dialogue in rhyming couplets shows Oberon's magical power. The motif of Cupid and the juxtaposition of two classical allusions, Diana, symbol of chastity, and Cupid, the god of love, shows Oberon's ability to make Titania fall in and out of love and this abuse of power. This repetition emphasizes the point that love is all about power and control. But here's more to chew on. Oberon and Titania's relationship reflects Theseus and Hippolytus as well. Theseus wins Hippolyta with a sword, which is another kind of power and control. In conclusion, the relationship between Oberon and Titania shows us the interesting idea that love is all about power and control. Thank you very much.